Hello, I'm Linda Tachanman. I'm CEO of Third Party Risk Institute, and this is part of our Ask the Expert series. So one of the questions that I get from a lot of people, including our students in Certified Third Party Risk Management Professional Program, is how to stay on top of what's happening with your critical third parties. And so this is actually part of your risk monitoring responsibilities. And what I'd like to speak with you today about is what I call risk intelligence solutions. I, I don't know what you call them, but that's a, coin, a, a term that I've coined and it seems to fit quite nicely. So there are two types of risk intelligence solutions that, in fact, three that I come up to the top of my head. The first, of course, is financial health. So why would you bother evaluating financial health yourself? And there's good companies out there that can give you access to a solution with financial health, company officer information, uh, finance, uh, sort of litigation history, uh, the types of things that you would need to know in order to get into a relationship with a, a third party, but also to stay on top of their financial health. So these firms can also give you alerts when there's a downgrade or a serious problem with, uh, with their financials. Uh, the second type is around sanctions. So um, if you have been listening to anything I've been saying, I'm pretty focused on sanctions these days because the number of people and companies and countries is growing like a house on fire. Uh, so sanctions is another area where you can uh, not only just uh, check to see if any of the officers or companies are on sanctions list, but also you can get alerts if in fact they are, um, they have been added, or you can just run your, your, your whole database through on a regular basis like they do for anti-money laundering. And the third area that is most commonly used, of course, is cyber risk monitoring. There's lots of firms out there that do a really good job of evaluating cyber security controls, but more importantly, to alert you if there's a lot of activity for your critical third parties on the dark web, or if they have been subject to a serious uh, cyber security event. And even if it's not your company that's been affected, gosh, it could have been. So these are three very commonly used types of risk intelligence solutions. And there's only so much capacity to go around these days, uh, they're like always. And so uh, uh, subscribing to a, a risk intelligence solution is a better use of resources than asking your people to stay on top of things themselves because they're sure to miss things. And this way you get the information you need when it's fresh. So I'm Linda Tuck Chapman. I'm CEO of Third Party Risk Institute. Thanks for listening.